So this is my first video just showing the simple functionality of the uh, ERDP ML. Um, firstly, I'm just going to show you what you can do with the dive planning mode. So in order to show you that, let me give you an example question. You plan to make two dives. The first to dive to 100 feet for 20 minutes. You then want to take a 50 minute surface interval, followed by a dive to 50 feet for 45 minutes. What pressure group will you end in? So when we're answering questions on uh, the RDP questions like this, draw a diagram to describe uh, what the question is actually saying. So here we have a diagram representing the first dive, descent, bottom time and ascent, a period of time on the surface, followed by the descent of the second dive, the bottom time of the second dive and the ascent. So that's why we draw the diagram like this. We now need to uh, enter some information in to describe these dives. So we can put in the depth of the dives. Uh, I put them in here and the bottom times of the dives, which I put here. And then we need to enter in the information about the surface interval. And then at the end of the first dive, we'll be in a pressure group. At the end of the surface interval, we'll be in a pressure group. And then at the end of the second dive, we'll be in a pressure group. So that is what your basic diagram should look like. You can now fill it in using the numbers from the question. So the first dive is a 100 foot dive and we're going there for 20 minutes. So we can enter that in. And then we have our surface interval, which is 50 minutes and we can enter that into the diagram followed by a dive to 50 feet. So dive two, the depth is 50 feet and the time for dive two is 45 minutes. So we can enter that in. Now we have all the information we need and we can actually open up our ERDP ML. So got it open from a previous question. Let's turn it on uh, and turn the sound off. And now we can start uh, entering the information as it is given to us uh, from the diagram. What mode are we going to be in? We're showing you how to use dive planning mode. So press mode until it shows dive planning and click enter. The first thing it's going to ask you is whether you're planning a multi-level dive. There is no mention of multi-level in this question, so I'm going to say no. And then it asks me if I'm going to start with the first dive of the day. This question doesn't mention any previous dives or pressure groups, so I can safely assume it is the first dive of the day and click yes there. So now it asks for the depth of the first dive, which we can take from our diagram right here, 100 feet, and click enter. What is it showing me now? It's showing me that the uh, maximum time you can do a dive to 100 feet for is 20 minutes. The no decompression limit for a 100 foot dive is 20 minutes. Uh, that is obviously very useful information when you're planning dives. Uh, in this situation, we already know how long we want to spend at 100 feet. It's given to us in the question. So we can click enter and uh, put in the amount of time from the question, which actually does happen to be the no decompression limit. So I can enter the 20 uh, and then click enter. And it warns me that I would have to do a safety stop on this dive. Um, I'm just going to click enter again to get past that flashing warning. And now it will give me the pressure group uh, at the end of the first dive. So my pressure group at the end of the first dive is pressure group O. I can then click enter and it asks me for the surface interval, which is given to us right here, 50 minutes and click enter. And it tells me that my pressure group at the after the surface interval at the beginning of the second dive would be pressure group F. So I can enter that in right there. Then I can press enter on the ERDP ML and it asks me for the depth of the second dive, which I can enter as 50 feet. And it tells me now that on that second dive, the maximum time I could spend at 50 feet would be 56 minutes, given that I was starting the dive in pressure group F. Useful information when you're planning a dive, but the question has already told us how long we plan to spend there. It is 45 minutes, so I can enter that in. It warns me a safety stop is required and then shows me that at the end of those two dives with that surface interval, my pressure group would be pressure group V. So my website www.goprocaribbean.com has lots more practice quizzes from all five sections of dive theory. Uh, the best way to master this is by doing practice questions. If you've enjoyed this video and found it useful, please like it and perhaps subscribe to my YouTube channel.